Moist Critical or Charlie, whatever you know him as, has always been one of the biggest One Piece haters, at least from what I've seen on YouTube. He was doing yearly updates for years where he watched like 100 episodes and he always had negative things to say, but apparently he's changed his mind and I have not watched this video, I've only seen clips on TikTok, so let's react to it. For the longest time, I was okay. a Division 1 hater. I'm talking <laughs> elite level, he was. Hall of Fame status, frown enthusiast for one particular beloved property that everyone preaches the gospel for. I couldn't stand it, and I'd take every opportunity to passionately rant about it to the point where I'd have veins popping out of my forehead and flames coming out of my eyes as I was talking shit about it. And now I've become <laughs> one of its biggest fans, to a level that I think most of its community doesn't even go to. This it's dude was such a hater, bro. I remember when he first watched Fishman Island, he was talking about Fishman Island like he went through hell or something, man. Which Fishman Island is not good. But between Vegeta I thought he was going to drop the show. Vegeta hated Goku's guts for the longest time, and then they end up being best friends, being like, you know, fist bump, I'll suck a fart out of your butt anytime, pal. That's me with One Piece. I tried watching One Piece so many times throughout my life, and every single time I dropped it because it was such a snooze fest, I couldn't push through, and I really didn't under understand the hype with. Now, I'm not here just to talk about like the One Piece show and my journey with it or anything, but four years ago, I decided to embark on the noble quest the hater. to actually catch up with the One Piece anime, which has over 1,100 episodes or so, and right now, I'm at episode like 860-something, and it's been a grueling journey to get there. Because he's, he's in Whole Cake Island. Which is, he's probably, well, he's towards the end of it, too. He's probably right at the end of Katakuri vs. Luffy. Because I really hated the beginning of this show. I had to push myself to muscle through 300 episodes that I really wasn't liking. And then, <laughs> all of a sudden, a switch flipped in my brain that said, Oh, actually, I love this now. I don't know if it's Stockholm Syndrome or the sunken cost fallacy or what. I don't know. But I have become a massive fan of One Piece to the point that I now compete in its card game. Oh my I actually gosh. I travel around and go to tournaments competing in the One Piece card game. He travels around? Oh my gosh, that's more than me. I mean, I collect a few of the cards, but I don't, I've don't. i never played the TCG. Pretty good. I become like the fucking Baba Yaga of the local scene here for the card game. I am the boogeyman because I play <laughs> Enel which is a leader a lot of people despise. It's a very strong leader, like the deck is really consistent, but playing it basically turns you into a public restroom for everyone to shit on. Like, people wipe their ass with your face because they just despise you for playing it. Fundamentally, Anel is a stall deck. What it does is it heals you when you go down to zero life and brings you to one, which means you need to get hit two more times. So it changes the way a lot of people play against it. And I'm piloting this motherfucker like Tom Cruise. See, he's Tom different. He, he said it took like 300 plus episodes to get into it. That's like Any's Lobby, which if you can make it to Any's Lobby, I think you will 100% like One Piece. But for a lot of people, it's like Arlong Park that they really get into it. And that's only like 30 episodes. Or even out of the bad stuff, they don't like Arlong, but he, he's one of the few that it took a long time for me to get it. Gun. I am becoming one of the most efficient NL players the East Coast has ever seen. I went to the I tournament last get over the fact night, that it's that only he my second NL. tournament, and I placed fourth. I top four, baby, <laughs> which means I got a tournament prize pack, and I'm in a good position for the upcoming Treasure Cup for One Piece. And I kind of just want to talk about this because I fucking love playing this card game now. I think it's super fun. So I initially got into it because I thought the art was really cool. Like this is a manga rare I collected. This is like the top level rarity you can get, which is the manga rares. Or they also have like Those are really cool cards. prize cards. So I got a tournament prize pack, but it's not a winner's pack. You need to win to get that and there's special cards for it. It's, it's super fucking cool actually. But anyway, last night I top forward at a local and I went with a couple friends of mine from the skill check channel. Skill Check is a channel where we mainly do a lot of TCG content as well as Dungeons and Dragons. So if you like chaotic and silly over the top so all... TCG related shit for Magic the Gathering. And okay, so it's all just the card game. The I thought this was him out. talking about how he likes One Piece now. Looks like we're just kind of going into the card game. This came out August 20th, so about a month ago. I swear I saw one of him talking about One Piece like before that and he still did not really like it. Or was not admitting that he liked it at least. Annual check-in. One month ago, July 26th. Well, it's extremely difficult. 
to stick with a hobby that you don't like for an extended period of time. <laughs> it kind of defeats the purpose of having This a dude hobby. hated One Piece so much, bro. You don't enjoy. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't. Oh, you man. Might as well just be banging your head against the wall or slamming a toilet seat lid on your head. There's it's no not good either because there's so many people that follow everything that Charlie says. Well, and if he hates One Piece, they just hate it because Charlie hates man. it. So I've stuck with a hobby for a little over four years now. And it's One Piece. One Catching Piece. Up on the One Piece anime. I started it at the beginning of COVID. And I swore with my hand on a stack of Bibles that I would catch up to the anime, which is well over a thousand episodes at this point. And I'd like to report my progress here because it has been tough. One Piece has some very high highs and some very low lows. There's some <laughs> hits, there's some shits, and let me tell you, those shits be shitting. They oh, are man. rough. I swear to God, Ponce de Leon's expedition to Florida. I like all the One Piece arcs, man. As the journey through some of these One Piece like arcs. Even, it's, even it's, Long Ring Long Lane has its good moments. To sit through, like something Guantanamo Bay would subject you to. Like there, there are torturous methods here with some of these arcs, like Fishman Island. Heaven forbid. We'll get into that in a moment. We'll get into the weeds. But Fishman like, Island. Having someone sit down and oh, watch man. Fishman Island is like torture Jack Bauer would subject a terrorist to in 24. It's rough. <laughs> but hey, you don't get muscles like these without eating some of your vegetables. Am I right? So I've been pushing through. I've been fighting off the sleep because trust me with some of these arcs, it is hypnotic. It is almost impossible to not fall asleep through some of these episodes. But I did it. It's like listening to a Jigglypuff song for oh, these man. episodes, but I still endure. A Jigglypuff now, song. I'm dude. happy to say I am halfway through Dress Rosa, so I'm pretty deep. He's in halfway the through Dress Rosa here, and that was August 20th. So in less than a month, he made it another hundred episodes, pretty much. Bro is he's in it now. I mean, it only took want to give you my over 700 episodes, but he is locked in now. A year ago, a I think year he's ago. gonna love Wano though. Hopefully, he does an update. As he's in the middle of Wano. Because I think he'll really love Wano. At least the Onigashima part. Maybe the whole... Like, uh... Just mainland part before Onigashima. That takes way too long, in my opinion. He probably won't like. Change. Much to the chagrin of the entire... Or the prison of Udon. That's a rough part. One Piece community. Holy fuck, they ate me alive. They shit my whole ass for me. It was... <laughs> I was thrown to the wolves. They did not like my takes. But I'm coming at you with more takes in just a moment. Right now, the biggest W take of all time, Goof Juice, is available. Sorry, not sponsored by them. There's a huge sale going on. Pick some up. But I am I was very harsh on Luffy in the last video I made here, but I've really warmed up to him significantly since Marineford. And even... <laughs> wow. Even Jeez. in Fishman Island, I actually thought Luffy was great. I was very harsh of Luffy as a character, and I'm not going to just rehash what I said there, but I really think since Time Skipped, he has grown a lot. Like, he still has the exact same quirks and the same personality and everything, but as a character, I really think he's significantly more interesting, and he's not just so two-dimensional, at least not the way I viewed him beforehand. That's, that's so, so true. Like, after Water 7, Luffy's character becomes so much better, and you can actually tell... He's much more of a captain, and there's flashes of that before Water 7. Like, I, one big one that I'm a big fan of is Drum Kingdom, when he climbs up the mountain with Nami and, like, Sanji in his teeth or something like that. That was a big-time Luffy moment, but he doesn't have a ton of those before Water 7, and then they're more common afterwards. I loved Impel Down and Marineford. Those were two absolutely extraordinary arcs. I don't even need to explain why I like them so much. One of my critiques Everybody of loves them. nobody dies in it, or died in it, Marineford has big deaths, and they are impactful, and I think they're handled beautifully. So I, I am much more satisfied with the way that death is handled in the show. I am very appreciative of the direction it's going there. It seems to be much more willing to make beloved characters face real consequences. <laughs> so I think that adds to the stakes of the show for sure. But there is a huge blemish. Uh, so right now I'll tell you where I'm at. I'm in middle of Dressrosa. And there's a huge, huge roadblock I had to push through. Fishman Island arc. I'm just going to play a clip from Streamlight <laughs> over just how terrible it was. I finished It was that Island. good. Thanks to the One Piece card game, it motivated me to finish fucking god-awful Fishman Island. What was so bad about it? He's deep into I the card know, game, and he does... He, he's not even at Fishman Island at this point. That's crazy. Or through it, I guess. Might as well talk about Fishman Island and everything I hated about it. 
Fishman Island takes everything that One Piece was doing really well in Marineford and wipes its whole ass with it. The Fishman Island arc is a tedious chore to push through, and it is unwatchable it's my least favorite arc. One Piece. One Piece is a godsend and the only way to actually push through that arc. Everything about it undoes everything Marine Ford did great. It is truly a wash. Like it is it is trash. And it's so insulting that it's a really important arc because of like Shira Hoshi. But my god, so the villain might legitimately be the worst villain I've ever seen in anime. <laughs> Hoshi Jones is just uh. a diet, great value, Arlong, but significantly more cringe. And I feel like yep has no real character to him at all other than just being addicted to meth that, like that's it like he's just a pill popping lunatic and nothing beyond that he's not fishman was tough he's not crafty this is the one even... take of charlie's that i full-heartedly agree with fishman island was terrible and i i know i said earlier that all one piece arcs are good it had its good moments but fishman island i kind of forgot about it because it's so Strong. bad like the straw hats are a thousand times more powerful than all of the villains so anytime they fight it's instantly over there's no tension it's so dumb like everyone's just cannon fodder in the arc and sanji is miserable in the first like, oh. 20 episodes where he just constantly starts bleeding out from nosebleeds which was a really good gag initially in that in the beginning of that arc but they kept playing it up and he just had nothing to do until the very <laughs> end then you take like eight months finishing that yeah because it sucks it's so boring. fishman would have been good if it was just like like a quarter of the amount of episodes like i feel like i don't know i feel like oda was just in this mode where he had to make arcs long and that's just not the case fishman could have been a really short arc like jaya or something and it would have been perfectly fine I really I'm, I'm a big hater of fishman, fishman as well pacing every fight being just a complete showcase of how far above the straw hats were to the villains which takes away all of the intensity of the situation. There are just so many things wrong with it. Sanji, Jesus fucking Christ, heaven, heavens to Betsy, just incapacitated for half of the half of the arc because he keeps getting nosebleeds from seeing women, so he's bleeding out constantly. It was, I think, the worst arc in the show. But people said that Punk Hazard wasn't going to be great either, and I disagree. I really liked Punk Hazard. And I think it's because of One Piece. I can't give enough flowers to One Piece. It cuts out so much shit, and apparently Punk Hazard's big complaint was the pacing of it. So I did not have that issue. Punk so Hazard's not that bad. It, and I got to see a lot of Trafalgar Law, and what a badass character that is. Now, He's, gonna love, that, so He's gonna love Wano. He's gonna love Wano. Well, I mean, Jess Rosa too, I guess. But. but his devil fruit is so fucking cool, and every time he's in a scene, he's the best part of it. His fight with Fur So this dude loves One Piece now. If Charlie Moist Critical of all people can start to like One Piece, you can too if you haven't watched it, man. 